Taoyuan Museum. MVRDV has unveiled its proposal for a major museum in Taiwan, a design which came third as part of an international competition. Located in close proximity to Taipei, the country's capital, as well as the national airport, the city of Taoyuan has expanded in size in recent years. As a new cultural institution, the Taoyuan Museum of Art seeks to give the region a sense of identity and character for its growing population. MVRDV's design for the 29,000 square meter museum, which was developed alongside JJP architects and planners in Tapatek 1, is inspired by Taoyuan's peach flower symbol. The master plan for the vast complex includes a series of rooms, which contain different aspects of the overall program. The museum, which is found within the pink, or cherry, zone, comprises a series of human-scale buildings. Transit hub designed with dramatic sweeping roof to shape flow of travelers and city life. The Swedish city of Vosteris will soon be more connected than ever thanks to Jark Ingels Group's latest infrastructure project. Known as the Vosteris Travel Center, it will act as a city center as well as a massive transportation hub for the metropolis, uniting the area both physically with more accessible transit and symbolically everything is placed in a contemporary single roof building. Vostera's new travel center brings the entire city's infrastructural hub together on one landscape, under one roof, explains Jark Ingels. The travel center is designed as a piece of social infrastructure, shaped for the flow of people and public life. We wanted to celebrate movement and create a welcoming, warm and transparent mobility hub that becomes an important social and economic node redefining the city's infrastructure and landscape. Zahadid Architects designs Virtual Liberland Metaverse City British architecture studio Zahadid Architects has created a cyber-urban city in the metaverse where people can buy plots of land with cryptocurrency and enter digital buildings as an avatar. Named Liberland Metaverse, the virtual city is a based on the Free Republic of Liberland, a micronation claimed by Czech politician Vit Jedlika that straddles disputed land between Croatia and Serbia. While the Liberland metaverse is meant to spearhead the development of Liberland as a libertarian micronation it will also function as free-standing virtual reality realm in its own right, explains Zaha Hadid Architects Principal Patrick Schumacher. The ambition is for it to become the go-to site for networking and collaboration within the burgeoning Web 3.0 industry, it's the metaverse for metaverse developers and the crypto ecosystem at large, he told Dizine. Mad Architects wins competition to design international cruise center in China. Led by Mayan Song, Mad Architects, and the China Academy of Building Research (CSR) have won an international competition to design the Kunten International Cruise Center in Chongqing, China. Currently a cargo terminal, Gentry Crane will become a 65,000 square kilometer international cruise terminal and city complex featuring a 15,000 square kilometer cruise port and over 50,000 square kilometer of commercial spaces. The project site covers 66,000 square kilometer in Chongqing's Liangjiangyu area, which has direct access to the Yangtze River. During the site visits, the team was inspired by the large orange gantry cranes that were installed across the freight terminal, which gave them the impression of living alien creatures with a sense of surrealism. With that, the team's design proposal reflected the industrial colors of these cranes and focused on the original surrealism of the site through elevated buildings that resemble a futuristic, free-walking city. Drone Port, United Arab Emirates by Gas Architectures German Sandoval 
The sand dunes are the inspiration for the silhouette of the drone port camouflaging its shape among the landscape with a strategic location for the air communication network between cities. The air transport infrastructure is gaining terrain in communication sector like a common and practic transport method for the commercial exchange, delivery companies, tourism, private and public drones, which takes advantage of the sky for reducing time cost and the mobility optimization. Drone port program contains boarding area, two departure pads, three arrival pad, 16 parking position and control tower and a solar panels farm to supply the electric facilities. Within the points network located between cities are waiting to be connected no more 15 minutes on drone flight with a minimal environment's impacts for the zones. Salmon Trans Systems revealed the initial designs for the revitalization, one of the oldest and busiest train stations in the heart of Chicago. State Lake Elevated Station will function as a cultural hub and gateway to downtown for citizens and visitors as is located at a vital junction serving for six of locals' eight train lines, with further connections to pedestrian and bus routes. Apart from improving accessibility, safety, and comfort, the architects sought to integrate historic materials from the existing station into the design to provide harmony between past and future, while the transparent structure brings plenty of natural light within. Som and Trans Systems are working closely with Chicago Department of Transportation CDOT, Chicago Transit Authority CTA, and the City of Chicago, engaging stakeholders and consulting with the community throughout the design process. Pujang Peaks Where future meets nature, MVRDV Zero Carbon design selected as finalist in Pujang Civic Center competition. The landscaping design is equally important in delivering on the design's sustainable ambitions. A parkland of indigenous trees and grasses increases the biodiversity of the area and reduces local temperatures. Berms of Earth created using repurposed soil from the excavation of the Pujang Central Lake, improve natural ventilation, blocking the cold winter wind but directing cool summer breezes through the park and into the buildings. The project uses sponge city principles, which help to avoid flooding and enable rainwater to be collected and stored for later use in the buildings or for irrigating plants. Light Drops in Senate Square, Helsinki, Finland The Light Drops idea was born out of a deep dialogue with the Mediterranean sun. A moment of appreciation of the sun's importance in our lives and the fact that millions of people in the northern parts of the world are missing the sun most of the year and waiting for it to return as a distant lover. The lack of sun influences both physically and mentally and the need for sunlight is crucial. On one of my days in front of the sea, playing with the sunlight, I wished I could take some of light drops and bring it to those who don't have it. As a loving gesture. This is where the light drop project stated the vision of a drop-shaped urban space, which could hold up to 30 people inside, with special sunlight spectrum illumination, together with healing sound vibration light and sound reacting to each other, creating a healing space for people to visit and relax in, on their way to work or home, getting washed by positive light and seeing it a chance for communication and intimacy same as they would in the traditional gatherings in a sauna. Bentham Crowell Plus West 8 Wind Competition for New Bruno Main Station Bentham Crowell Architects and West 8 have won the international competition to design the new multimodal hub of Bruno. The city announced the winning Dutch teams known for the Rotterdam Central Station, and the designers were selected out of a total of 46 applications. It was the largest architectural competition in the history of the Czech Republic. As the team explained, the station aims to be a catalyst and develop the new district as an integral part of the city. The jury noted that the design combines a reference to historic public buildings with an intermodal hub and public space. 
the design emphasizes the Brno's character and the practical functioning of the new station building with its surroundings. The multimodal transport hub includes 14 platforms for high-speed and local trains, tram, and city buses, a regional bus station including 40 stops, a metro station, a bicycle, and car parking. Big's Portuguese Silicon Valley has unveiled designs for a 178,000 square kilometer art filled site for tech companies called Fuse Valley. Already dubbed by many as the Portuguese Silicon Valley, the project is conceived as a community village that will occupy a hillside site 7 kilometers from the center of Porto. The extensive scheme has been developed by Big alongside real estate developer Castro Group and fashion e-commerce platform Farfetch, whose new headquarters will occupy 12 interconnected buildings within Fuse Valley. Fuse Valley is composed of 24 buildings home to various tech companies, startups, and services. The design prioritizes creating a sense of community and forging connection to the outdoors with plazas, parks, courtyards, terraces, and landscaped roofs, accessed by natural paths, that rise and fall with the contours of the land. Harry Attack Architectural Design Studio designs Zero Waste, Mobile Eco-Floating Hotel in Qatar. Istanbul-based architecture practice Harry Attack Architectural Design Studio, adds, has unveiled conceptual plans for a new zero-waste and mobile eco-floating hotel in Qatar. Dubbed as Eco-Floating Hotel, the 35,000-square-meter hotel is planned as mobile structures to be built in multiple locations. Its first structure is set to be built off the coast of Qatar. Starting initial design phase in March 2020, the overall design phase has been completed in six months, as stated by Harry Attack Architectural Design Studio. The rounded structure adopts the principle of minimum energy loss and zero waste as a key principle. Thanks to its characteristic moving feature, the structure generates electrical energy by rotating around its position according to the water. The project is intended to provide users different experiences from different angles that they are exposed. The design is conceived as a five-star hotel and will contain a total of 152 rooms. For design scheme, the architects are inspired by the sea with which it is associated in the first degree in terms of form and design principle. Matt unveils the eyes of Senk Singui, a new design for the Senk Singui Museum. Mad Architects, led by Mayen Song, has unveiled the design of their latest project, the Eyes of Seng Singdui for the Seng Singdui Ancient Shu Cultural Heritage Museum. The project sees MAD place a cluster of scattered wooden structures above the dense greens and clear waters of the ancient landscape. The new buildings merge with the existing landscape to form a new environment, which simultaneously celebrates the ancient mysteries of the Seng Singdui civilization and connects with the area's timeless natural environment through a restrained, humble volume. The result is a park which acts as an urban and cultural public space where humanity and nature, the past and the future, can converge. The project site is located in the western area of Guanghan City, Sichuan Province. Filled with unearthed cultural relics dating from approximately 4,500 to 2,800 years ago, the site's archaeology is rooted in the echoes of ancient cities, ancient states, and the ancient Shu culture of southwest China. The Seng Singui site is jointly applied with the nearby Jinshao site to be recognized as a World Cultural Heritage Site by UNESCO. <laughs>